Okay, welcome back, and uh, here we are close up. You can have a good look at them now and uh, see for yourself if these are for you or not. Uh, so basically, I was mentioning my article on my website um, regarding the powder coating. Um, so the, the original V1s had a nice, smooth, shiny gloss color, similar to their OSW boxes. Um, the, the new powder coating they've got now is called Diamond Black. You know, it's very hard to show you on here what what that looks like. Um, it's got a nice rough texture to it. Um, it looks industrial, and I like it a lot. Very much I like it. I like it that much. It's on my new product that I'm doing a video on called the Sim Wind Sim. You may have heard about it. It's got the same texture on there on the casing as well. So anyway, so. What's a bit different? So difference is bigger, bigger casing in in depth, powder coating onto the uh, onto the new onto the housing, much better, I think, as well. So what's changed? Well, mostly everything is the same. So don't panic if you've already bought a pair, or a pair, I bought a set. You ain't got to go panic stations. Oh no, I'll just blew all this money on a one and I've just brought another one out. No, the ones you've got now are perfectly fine. The powder coating is different. Now, the only other thing that's different, which is, which is just show you and you'll see. As you can see, there is no pot anymore. Now, oddly, I thought they were essential. Now, when speaking to Simtech over this all, um, we had a good conversation by, about it all. And they do a lot of research in the motor industry because they do a lot of motorsport stuff. And pots on Sim pedals are not required. So don't be fooled by having, you've got to have pots on your brakes, on your clutch and on the accelerator. It's, it's, it's not, you don't need to. Uh, prove me wrong. I'll test this set by all means, and if I'm proven wrong, I will literally eat my hat. Right, okay, so <laughs> we got that out of the way. So the pot, pot's gone. So how does this actually be work then? Basically, if I turn it around a bit more, we can get, we can get in here a bit. You see the long tube up here, basically uncap it here. You put a little nozzle on, you fill up with brake fluid, yes, proper brake fluid, not any sunflower oil, I might add. That uh, goes into this, so what happens is as you go down, it starts to fill up the chamber, you start doing the brake and the air, you know, bleeding. I watched all this, I didn't actually do it, I just watched in amazement how this was actually done. So basically, you bleed, they bleed it, keep filling it until it gets to the top so much that you can't fill it anymore, cap it off. That is your inline hydraulic system. Now, from what I was told, this hasn't been done yet, but give it a few weeks and I'm sure somebody will be doing it as well. So yeah, so that eliminates the pot. Now that is another good reason to why the pots are gone, is that if you transport these, or you have set ordered and then have them sent through a courier, if that courier tips the box upside down accidentally, all your, all your brake fluid will leak out of them pots it will. It, it's been tested. It's been proven tested, and it's one of the reasons they got rid of it. But don't panic. If you if you are going to transport your old ones, then just uh, you know do the necessary thing and empty it. But for future references from now on, we don't have that on anymore. Okay, so you ain't got to panic about getting them transported anymore. So basically, yeah. So. That's been replaced. You've got the tubing down here. This is proper, not cheap tubing, as I explained to me. It's uh, not the cheap stuff, it's the good stuff, which is all they put on their on their equipment. They don't they don't they don't put cheap parts on. Um, like I say in my previous review, they take all the bling off and give you what you, you need to do what it should do. Okay, and this is how it should look. <laughs> right, so yeah, so we got the, uh, I can never say this correctly, 
But the Pentium Ometer is on there. That's a new one as well. It's just it's the same as the old one, but I just put a new one on anyway. Um, still giving me the responses I need on the brake and uh, everything else to go with it. We've got the uh, yeah. So basically, we now the cable runs from the back into the casing. Whereas I believe my memory strikes me. It went round and through. I can't remember now, sorry. But yeah, so that's tidied up a bit as well, basically. And um, that runs into the uh, pressure transducers, which is on the front. They're the same. Um, again, they just put new ones on because they wanted to make this the new, a new version for me to test. So yeah, we still got the nice feel of that on the accelerator. Um, it feels a bit more harder than before but that to me was personal test their personal preference and i think i think the new there's a new spring on it basically as well maybe a bit stronger i don't know but anyway then obviously the brake now this can go i think it's up to 108 kilos of brake pressure so that and that's the range i believe i think uh 1600 psi which is quite per, you know power per square inch and it, 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 it takes a bit to break over here because it's not it's not um, secured down. But yeah, the brake on it feels really, really nice. Now, I was worried that taking all the pot off and everything else would make the brake feel not natural. But to be honest, it actually feels a lot better. You know, I mean, the old ones are brilliant. Oh, don't get me wrong. But this set, with the brake, it seems a lot more. Now, there's a reason to why it was more stiffer. The more, the more you brake, the harder it gets. The reason for that, if I turn these round, and if you can see here, there's a new addition. Now, on the old ones, you just had the rubber um, polymer, polymer, yeah, polymer bushings on, and that gave you a brilliant force, you know, it give you the pressure you needed. But now with this tubing on, which is new to them, when you push more on the brake, this the rubbers expand against the tube. So you can only go so far before it's a, it's a deadlock. You can't go any further. So like, really, that is like a real car. The more you brake, the harder it gets. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. But yeah, so that that is an improvement. I like that, it's a nice touch. And uh, it kind of blends in with the, with the other uh, CNC brakes, um, CNC pedals, sorry, on there as well. So yeah, so overall, I really, really like what they've done. Um, it's different, Not no one's seen it apparently, but they have not seen anyone do this. And so basically get rid of all the parts, make it all in line and uh, get it bled and you've got a perfect set of hydraulic pedals and you ain't got no fear of the pot leaking. Um, we can literally turn this upside down and nothing's gonna leak. Whereas if you did it with the old ones, you're more likely you would get a leak. Not saying you would, but you might. But so, what do I think so far? Well, I've tested these out properly now for a good couple of days. Um, I really do, love them to bits i mean i've always wanted hydraulic pedals hydraulic brake <clears throat> and um, it was always out of my budget but this set um if you check out the website of simtech simtechracing.co.uk you can get the price on now i can't remember it sorry silly me but um i think it's in the region of 650 to 675 somewhere around that before vat so check them out well worth having a set can't fault them. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll stop gabbing on now. Check my article out if you've not read it already on mancaveuk.co.uk. Um, it goes a bit more in depth on everything as well. And uh, yeah, until the next one, the next video, which will be my new product that I'm bringing out called the WinSim. So check that out shortly. And until next time, happy driving.